Welcome back everyone. In this video, we will talk about the input and the output of the Python series analysis as well as the workflow of this process. In order to start creating our Python series analysis 3D model, there are multiple data that we must ensure having them before starting. The most important input data needed are as following. You need to know the applicable design codes for your project as per the client's requirement. ASME code is one of the most commonly used, however, you need to confirm the client's requirement in advance. You need to have full isometric drawing of the system, including the preliminary proposed location of the supports, as well as the layout drawings. You need to have the piping and fitting data sheets, including the material and the weight and any insulation or cladding for the pipeline. Also, the equipment data sheets are required to obtain the allowable loads at nozzles to make sure that it is taken into consideration while running your analysis. And of course, you need the general data of the project such as worker and test temperature and the ambient and design temperature based on the project's location. Once you have this data, you are able to start creating your 3D model. Once the analysis is finalized, you should prepare the pipe stress analysis report. The pipe stress analysis report should include the following information. All of the information about the design basis and the applicable codes or any assumptions you made during the analysis. Summary sheet including the maximum stresses in the system including the comparison with the code allowable stresses. Displacement summary sheet. Supports reaction summary sheet and you need that because you need to submit it to the structure engineer who is going to carry out the support structure design. Spring design if you have any in your system and summary of any modification you had to do in the system such as changing support location or numbers or any change in the piping route. So now, based on what we have discussed, let us go through the workflow of the pipe stress analysis. First step would be to make sure that we have gathered all the required input data as we just earlier mentioned today. Next, we will start creating our 3D analysis model on Autopipe or any other pipe stress analysis software as we will learn later on this course. Once our pipe model is created, we need to start checking the stresses code requirement and the loads on the equipment's nozzle. If the system directly passes, this would be our best case scenario and our life would be easy because we don't need to do any other modifications on the system and we can just proceed directly with finalizing the output report as we just earlier mentioned today. But if the system doesn't pass from the first time, which happens most of the time, we start first by changing the type of the proposed support and their location. It is very important to start first by changes in the supports only because this has the least impact on the piping system arrangement and on the hydraulic engineer. Later on this course, during our pipe stress analysis on the autopipe software, we will learn how to understand the system's behavior to decide which supports need to be changed or modified. And again, we need to carry out the code stresses check. If the system passes, now we need to update our layout drones first to incorporate whatever changes we did, followed by finalizing the output report. But, but if the system still fails, even with multiple changes in the supporting system, we need to go with the next option, which is pipe rerouting. One of the most common ways to absorb the excess stresses in the system is to provide what is called by expansion loop. We will talk more about the expansion loop and other pipe rerouting techniques later on during our autopipe modeling. Once we finalize, we check again if the system passes or not. If it does, then again you update the layout drawing and finalize the output report. And if it still fails, you are going to keep repeating this cycle till you manage to have a safe system. In the next video, we will start talking about Bentley autopipe software and it will be the last video in the first section of our training. Following section, we will start creating our first 3D analysis model on Autopipe software.